Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I'm going to be walking you through another used trade-in that we just got. 2015 Keystone Bullet Premier 26 RBPR. So rear bath, it is the Premier Series, which pretty much just means we get a little bit nicer front cap, the dual air conditionings on the roof, things like that. So while we're panned out and we can actually see the roof, take a look up there. Very interesting to see on a small travel trailer, two 13,500 BTU air conditionings. And any experienced RVer will tell you, you can never have enough air conditioning. So you got one for the bedroom, one for the living room. The one in the bedroom will kind of work its way back into the living area as well. Also we're panned out there, we've got a nice big awning here. I would say between 18 and 20 feet long. The entire trailer is only 30 feet, six inches long, tip to tip. So we'll start by walking around the outside, then we'll head inside as we come underneath this awning. Notice up top, we do have a nice LED light strip. So when we're outside, we have a little bit of light if it's night. We also have speakers up in the sidewall. So there's a nice radio system inside where we can play music uh, via Bluetooth, CD, AM, FM, and be able to listen to it outside while we're enjoying the night. Coming back, something you're gonna see on this trailer, which is kind of cool, something you see on a lot of high-end tra uh, trailers and coaches, is going to be frameless, or frameless window windows. So we don't have that built-in frame. Now this is a storm window, so it actually just kind of folds out. So you can leave it open if it's raining, snowing, and you're not gonna get water on the inside of the coach. Coming back, two 110 volt outlets. Now those will work anytime that you're plugged in to shore power or running the generator, a generator. Back behind that, we've got the six gallon gas or electric hot water heater. Down below in the very back, we've got just stabilizing jacks. Now those are manual extend, manual retract, but it's a three quarter inch socket. So if it was me personally, I'd grab a nice little low torque impact, run them down with a drill rather than doing it by hand with a hand crank. So we've got a full size spare tire mounted on the rear bumper. Coming around to the driver's side, we've got a 50 amp power cord. Now this uh, trailer does come with a 25 foot cord. This is actually it. And then exterior hot and cold shower. So what's really cool about this trailer is it is the opposing slides. So you'll see that when we get inside how much space you have available for a smaller trailer. Now down below, it's kind of tough to see if the slides out. We do have a dual axle. Notice they are spread out a bit more than what you normally see on a trailer. The reason manufacturers do that is it gives you a little bit better weight distribution. So when you're driving down the road, the trailer doesn't start swinging side to side or bouncing a lot, that kind of thing. Just gives you a nicer ride in the tow vehicle. All the way to the front here, we've got the connection for our fresh water. So we have two different ways we can fill it. We can either fill it with the gravity by just dumping a hose down inside of this hole and let it fill until it starts pouring over the top. Or if we're in a campground and have water available to us, we can also fill it there and that's gonna be a city water connection. So pretty much we're just gonna use the water pressure from the RV park to provide the water pressure inside of the camper. So nice big pass through storage here, unobstructed all the way across, which is going to bring us to the front of this trailer. So on the Premier Series, we do get a nice big fiberglass rear cap. Fiberglass is a lot more durable than some of the other uh, materials that are used, but just gives you better protection on the front of this trailer. We've also got docking lights on both the driver and passenger side. So if you're trying to hook up at night or you're coming out here to turn your propane on, anything like that, you can actually see what you're doing so you're not working in the dark. Now, underneath this cover, we've got 40 pounds of propane. That's gonna provide us heat and it's gonna run your hot water heater as well if we do not have any external battery source or power source. Behind that, We've got a battery box. This trailer right now only has a single 12 volt battery, but there's plenty of room there on the tray. If you wanted to add an extra battery, 
you could definitely do it. And in the front, we've got a power tongue jack. So just push the button, the trailer goes up and down as needed. Notice it's a two and five sixteenths ball that's gonna actually connect it to the truck. See the other side of this path pass through. So something really, really cool about this trailer is it is considered a half ton towable trailer. So you don't need a big three quarter ton diesel truck if you don't wanna go pay 70 grand for one. We've got a dry weight of 5,655 pounds and a GVWR, the max weight this trailer can be is 7,500 pounds. The tongue weight is 850 pounds. So um, if you are using a half ton truck, a weight distribution hitch would definitely be worth it just to keep the, or keep the weight off of your suspension, give you a nicer ride while you're driving down the road. So we can head inside now. So one thing I noticed just when I was looking at this trailer this morning is this screen door actually has a good latch on it. So I can pull on it and shake it. It's not gonna break open. For those of you with dogs who are gonna jump on that door, it's nice to have a screen door that actually latches, unlike most of the other manufacturers. So as soon as we walk in the door, we're greeted by this panel here. This is gonna be all of our controls so we can look at our battery levels, fresh water levels, black water, gray water, turn on our water heater, the water pump, extend and retract the awning, extend and retract the two slides, and then your porch and ceiling lights. While we're uh, talking about that panel and water levels, for the fresh water tank, you have 40 gallons of water. The gray water tank, you have 60 gallons of water and then for the black water tank you have 30 gallons so good tank capacities for a smaller trailer we'll go ahead and start in the back of this one now the RV stands for rear bathroom so coming back here you've got a huge bathroom in this trailer nice big shower off to my left side here does have the removable sprayer so you can take it off to rinse your hair uh, do whatever you need to On the back wall, nice full length body mirror so if you're getting ready for a night out you can take a look at yourself. Good size medicine cabinet up above the sink. Two 110 volt outlets uh, for when you're getting ready. Good cabinet underneath. And then huge hanging wardrobe across the exterior wall. One more big storage cabinet here. Leaving the bathroom, we've got another big hanging storage. And then just on the opposite side of that, we're going to have a huge kitchen pantry. One of the biggest kitchen pantries I've ever seen in a travel trailer. Previous owner did add some wire baskets here just for extra storage. In front of that, Dometic two-way refrigerator, so it's either going to be gas or electric, depending on what you have available. If you're using gas, it's going to burn the propane out of those two or out of that 40 pounds of propane up front. If you're using electric, it just runs off of the power that's provided by either a generator or uh, shore power. Small microwave, high point, just so you can make a bag of popcorn or some leftovers, that kind of thing. Really, really big cabinet towards the front. And then down below, we've got a nice prep space over here. And then a three burner gas stove with an oven. Now with this prep space, we obviously have the island as well. Two bowl sink makes doing dishes much easier than the big single bowls. And then a bank of three drawers. Going down the right side of the island. Nice big cabinet with a shelf right underneath the sink. And then one more cabinet. Now, if it was me personally, I would find a way to put a shelf inside of that cabinet. Another thing I feel like it's worth pointing out in this travel trailer is we have a six foot 10 ceiling. 
So lots of headspace. I don't feel claustrophobic in here by any means. And then over to the left, standard booth dinette, easy to sit four people here. This will fold down and make a bed as well if you're taking the little ones with you. An option for this trailer was these two recliners rather than a sofa. They're actually decently comfortable. And then we've got a 43 inch Sansui TV. Storage up above in the form of two cabinets. Now over here to the left, we've got the IRV. So this is that radio I was telling you about where we have speakers on the outside. There's also speakers on the inside, one here and then one in the back. AM, FM, Bluetooth. This is also gonna be a DVD player that will connect to this TV. More cabinet space. And then down below, even more cabinet space. Now, all the way in the front of this trailer, we've got the master bedroom, which is equipped with a queen size bed. Notice how you can kind of see the curvature of the front cap on the back side of the bed. That's so that when you wake up, you don't smack your head on the cabinet. Keeps you from feeling claustrophobic as well. We've got more hanging swords on both sides of the bed. as well as more cabinet space up top. And then on both sides of the bed, we also have a little bit of a nightstand, phone, keys, wallet, that kind of thing. And then down below, two nice boxes, just for more storage, extra linens, things like that. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this 2015 Keystone Bullet Premier. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.